starting with the prize, a one-of-a-kind Kake Monbaku. Oh, beautiful. It's a Mifune? Correct. Mr. Fisk has exceptional taste. Did you know him well before his arrest? In a professional context. I handled many of his sales. Let's move on, please. Now this exquisite piece exemplifies the traditional Tarashikomi puddled ink effect. The two Neo are so imposing. I can see why Fisk liked this piece. Definitely his style. He loved the duality. Destruction screams, but creation toils in silence. Was there ever anything irregular in any of the sales you handled for him? No. No, of, of course not. Not that I was aware of. Notice the intricate gold inlay on this ceremonial tea set. It's just... A friend in the DA's office mentioned that Fisk used art sales to launder stolen goods. I'm... sure I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh, I know. I was just wondering, now that he's arrested, if you had ever noticed anything... strange. You know what? I'm actually running short of time. Why don't we grab the cover photo while we can? When I told my DA friend I was doing a piece on you, he mentioned your name was familiar. Just the photo, please. Stand right there. Are you sure there's nothing you'd like to say, maybe off the record, regarding Fisk's activities? I don't think your readers would have any interest in... Damn it. Wait here, please. Wait. I recognize that statue. I gotta get a photo. Got it. Craig. I'll call you back. My dear, I think it's time for you to go. Oh, um, could I use the restroom real quick? Fine, follow me. Thank you. This... this is a really lovely space. It is, and this will be the last time you see it. The ladies is around the corner. Be quick. Of course. Be right back. Hello, Craig. Funny you should call. Because the reporter you sent is clearly not working the puff piece we agreed upon. No, she's here now. I've got to get into that back room. If that statue is what I think it is, this just turned into a huge story. What do you mean he had to reschedule? Quiet. If she's not your reporter, who is she, Craig? Who is in my auction house? Oh my god. No, I do not trust you to fix this. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is have Miss Investigative Journalist arrested. And the second thing I'm going to do is collect your head, Craig. Dang, she's pissed. It is most definitely a threat. Uh-huh. Sure, Craig. He told me about this. Fisk used it to hide evidence. Why didn't the cops take it? I know this statue opens, but how? Hmm. He's holding something. you can move. Most common pose is latent power. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Hmm. That's the Neo behind them. But it looks different. Maybe these pieces move.
Grimlock mentioned two poses. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Nice. So close. But a piece is missing. I've seen these before. That's not right. That's it. Norman Osborne. What is this? Devil's breath. What is devil's... Excuse me, sir. You you can't be not good. Where's the statue? In in, in, in there. Ba Wen Jin zao shu lai. I was on my way to the exit when I saw you. You're lucky to be alive. This is the guy I saved five minutes ago. Listen, whoever these masked guys are, they're after this file. But I'll never get it out of here while the place is swarming with them. Right. Okay. Um, you hide back there. I take out the bad guys. You make a break when it's clear. Sounds like a plan. Good to see you, Pete. Yeah, you too. Not exactly how I pictured us meeting again, though. Funny. It's exactly how I pictured it. Did she change her perfume? Focus, Pete, focus. Yes, all right, of course. Should clear these guys out before I push forward. near the front. Give the word and I'll make a break for it. Will do. How about that file? What's in it that these guys want so bad? No on something called Devil's Breath. Fisk was hired to build a secret research lab for it. Not clear what Devil's Breath is, but it seemed to scare Fisk. He compares it to Pandora's box. Not much shook Fisk. We need to get you and that file out of here. Hang tight. Gotta stay silent. There we go. Keep it tight, Pete. Okay, room is clear. all of them. No! Let me go! MJ! Stop! No. Hide! Not cool with the hostile! 
hostage taking, guys. Whoa, what is up with that glowy stuff on your hand? Are you guys ghosts? I've never fought a ghost before. I mean, I've fought specters, but, you know, technically, specters aren't ghosts. All ghosts are specters, but not all specters are ghosts. You know what I mean? Ah, seems like this is an energy thing, not a ghost thing. All good. Fight a ghost that stays on the old bucket list. Yeah. Huh. Looks antique. I think I know someone who could help track down where this came from. A job for later. I just talked to Craig. You are not the reporter he was sending. You don't even work for Heritage Arts. Never said I did. Hi. Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. You... You will not write a word of what you saw For the here. record, what do you know about the file those masked men stole? Right. That... I, I don't... What about the long history of stolen goods Fisk has laundered at this auction house? Your editor will be hearing from our attorney. Mix? <laughs> like the last six months never happened? Since when did Mix become Italian? No idea, but I'm still glad he makes these fries. Totally. Best in the city. So, how's the grind at the Bugle? Mm. Well... Yeah, well, I just got an all-caps text from Robbie about my so-called antics tonight. So it looks like I'll be meeting with a legal team. Again. Uh, as soon as he reads the article you're gonna write, guaranteed promotion. So, creepy mask guys. What's your take? Just another night in the city. What's your take? I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make this all about business. How's, how's it going with you? Did, did you get that promotion? No, but we're on the cusp of something really big. You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hair. Sure, but Dr. Octavius's work will help millions. I'm, I'm right where I want to be, right where I should be. Almost sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. A lot can change in six months. Why did you ask me here, Pete? You know, just, uh, just dinner between friends. Friends? Is that what we are? I Maybe mean, we could be, you know, if, if that's what you wanted. <laughs> There's a lot of baggage here. Yeah, sure, but is that so bad? I mean, baggage can carry good things, too, like, uh, like money and uh, keys, and raspberry lip balm. Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? Saved by the siren. 
talk to you later. Go. Love seeing you two together again. You always were my favorites. me. What's with the units heading down third? Looks like our old friend Herman Schultz is at it again. Shocker. Didn't he just get paroled? Yeah, well, I guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. Just had dinner with my ex after saving her from masked criminals. And now I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you have, Peter. with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Not enough. Zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later.
Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah, I'm actually on my way to the feast. And are now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be... Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. You guys holding up all right? This moron thinks I'm going to move in with my daughter. Hey, that'd be great. She hasn't asked, and she's not gonna. I'm not going anywhere. You don't know that. Nobody does. Well, I'm not going anywhere. That's a promise. Partnership with restaurants and grocery stores works great. Any surplus food comes right here. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. 
Okay. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Looks like May's not in yet. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry. I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Last Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I didn't forget, forget, I just... I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> His tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. <sighs> is it right? Yeah, I lose track of time. Getting much coverage. I should look for more towers to activate. Get him! 
leave a mark! <laughs> Pro tip, if you're not good at breaking or entering, maybe don't pull a B&E. Sorry, sorry, sorry. A vehicle pursuit is in progress. Backup needed in the meatpacking district. Over. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work. In a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. I wish I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. 
Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. Should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. Harry left me a message about these before he left the room. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but it sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, oh, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high. And rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. Particles are concentrating in trouble spots. Like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then try nasty as they are. I gotta swing right through those clouds. For these clouds to be visible to the naked eye, the level of toxins must be up there. And gotcha! Good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff, anyway. <coughs> Got it. <coughs> oh, it feels like I'm breathing from a tailpipe. <coughs> Must be freaking these people out. Uh, what else is new? Huh. The toxin's coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Clear, Spider-Man. Uh, you okay? Taxi! Taxi! Great light on that one. Perfect. That picture I ever took. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Well, Harry Station just stopped the public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. I'm flying pretty close to blind. Ought to look for towers to activate. Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was, but one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. 
Damn! Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. Light back, move on. base in the vacuum left by Fisk. A vacuum I created by putting Fisk away. Jameson was right. Demons are my fault. But what were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep godfathering? Are you okay? You sound even mopier than usual. I think I might have just lost my job. The city, Norman, actually, pulled our funding. Oh, Pete. I'm sorry. If Harry were here, he could talk some sense into his dad. You'll find another source. Your work's too important. Thanks, MJ. Talk to you soon. Herman! Long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but, uh... I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Wanna play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb rest? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa, your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You want to fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me so dumb and stupid, you just stupid. You suck so much! Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, how would you measure it? Words per minute, syllables per second, or is it more about how many words one uses to express a single thought? It's all so subjective. If you ask me, some people don't talk enough. Like about who their mysterious overlord is. The person they're working with. Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? If I don't, they'll kill me! Okay, catch this one with your face! You know, people don't use banks anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks... Try day trade. It's all the rage. No! Wait, 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 wait! Oh, no! Oh, come on, Herman! Tell me who you're working for. I can help you cut a deal. If I talk, I'm dead! They made that very clear! Okay, I was kidding before. Now is your last last chance. 
Seriously! You really got hurt! Sorry, Herman. You brought this on yourself. Literally. He was scared and desperate. These demons are everywhere all of a sudden. Okay, Yuri. Shocker's all yours now. Good work. We have a special cell waiting for him at the raft. We'll make sure he stays behind bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey, the Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. Not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, have you had any more reports on demon, uh, uh, guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? You probably don't want to know. <sighs> Shouldn't have asked. The fight with Shocker took a while. Time to catch up on what I've been missing out in the city. test particulate matter in the air. Now, you'd probably have some science jargony way to say this, but basically, too much is not good. Hmm. Readings are troubling, but inconsistent. The only way I'll figure out what's going on is to test nearby emissions. But I've got other problems. The sampler's detecting toxic particles. Better check it out. That steam vent's a good place to start. something in here that doesn't belong. Let's analyze it. Mercury. Bonded with... something else. I can't tell what. This obviously isn't confined to one building. A lot of people are at risk. See what a sample from this can tell me. Nitric acid in there too, but also something else. I'm on the right track, just need to keep following the trail. This is more widespread than I thought. The whole neighborhood's in danger from this. Sinks to high heaven. Time to find out what's in it. Ethanol. Why is this sounding so familiar? Mercury with nitrogen and ethanol. Gotta get back on the trail. When this is over, I'll alert the health department so they can check on the local residents.
think I found the problem. Caustic chemicals are leaking out of those barrels and into the plumbing. Need to clean up the site fast. Huh. The calcium and silicon and concrete makes it an ideal absorption material. Looks like I'll have to make a mess to fix this mess. One down. Nice, it's war- <coughs> Just a couple more barrels. Last one. <laughs> Gotta stay above this stuff. <laughs> Sealing the grate with webbing should stop any residual drainage. That could have been way worse. Harry's research station just proved why it needs to stay open. Come around. They've been pretty busy tonight, hitting a lot of Fisk properties. They're going after Fisk? Damn. You thinking what I'm thinking? Brewing gang war? Let's try to get ahead of it. Are there any Fisk properties that haven't been hit tonight? Let me see. Patrol reported a bunch of activity at one of his shipyards in Portside. Thanks, Yuri. I'll check it out. Hey, Yuri, any idea what Fisk uses that shipyard for? Hey, you freaking mad No idea. Let me send an officer to meet you there. His name's Jefferson Davis. That's his beat. He's a good cop. Been working the Fisk case for years. If anyone knows what's going on at that shipyard, it's him. Indomitable Otto Octavius. That's great news. Hope his plan works. Demons are down. I'll let you take it from here, officers. King T'Challa got his powers from being bitten by a radioactive panther. Dude's tough, but that'd still probably hurt. 